when you get into your Prezi account for the first time, where things are, where, where is my stuff? How I start the presentation? What is what I see? Once you log in into uh, Prezi.com, you will see your main Prezi dashboard uh, with some information. On the top left, you can choose between Prezi Next and Prezi Classic. If we were Prezi Classic is an end of life product, we are not going to discuss it at all. The Prezi Suite is composed so far uh, by three tools. The main one is uh, Prezi Presentations or Prezi Next. We also have access to a tool to create and edit graphics. Super cool to create infographics, flyers, business cards and stuff that then you can use in your Prezi presentation. Ah, uh, Prezi videos. Prezi videos is an interface where you can connect uh, your Prezi with your camera and interact with the content either in video conferences, which means in real time, or creating videos that uh, you can then send or distribute or use for your marketing. What I say, it's an interface because you don't create presentations or videos with Prezi Video. You use your Prezi, import them into Prezi Video and use that for either a video conference or creating a video. On the left column, we see different options to organize our presentations. The presentations that I created, the presentations that were shared with me. Uh, I can also organize the presentations in folders. If you have a premium account, you will be able to see your analytics, which means being able to understand who is watching your presentations for how long, and which is super useful to me. An extra trick is that when you share a link to a prospect or an investor or an employee uh, or a boss, you can tell if they share the presentation with someone else which means that you have an insight on that decision-making process. With PowerPoint, you hand over your PowerPoint and then you lose control of the conversation. You don't know if they're watching the presentation one or two times, are they sharing internally. If you have a Prezi team, you will have an admin console and you will be able to manage the rest of the people on your team. On our front page, uh, or main dashboard, we see options to create a new presentation. We also have an option to explore Prezi presentations that are available for uh, taking inspiration, but also many you can make copies and can reuse them. We can convert a PowerPoint into a Prezi presentation and we can start a presentation from scratch or from a template. Actually, starting the pre a presentation from scratch is starting from a very simple template. Every presentation starts with a template. Now, down below, we have all the presentations we have been working on that people share with us and that we can use. You can also search uh, your presentations. If you have tens or hundreds or thousands of presentations, you can make a search to group them. So if you write down a keyword, uh, Prezi. I will only see uh, those presentations that have uh, the word Prezi in their title. You can also choose the language of your interface. Um, there are help options, which it sends you to Prezi's support page. And uh, you have your profile here, where you can set some things for your account, like going to Prezi.com, changing your password, name, and other information. And you can also log out if you eventually need to uh, log in with a different account. Also important is that here on the bottom left, you have the option to download the Prezi desktop to work, for example, when you're offline, when you don't have internet or to present offline. 